As Chicago murder rate spikes, many fear it may become normalized. So, in 2016, we had 750. Um, murders, that is. At least 27 shot, 7 fatally, in Chicago over Christmas weekend. Four broken armed, clues to Chicago's gang violence. And this is from the New York Times. So this isn't just a uh, one-off post. Um, the nation's third largest city will end 2016 with a surging murder rate, a demoralized <coughs> and distrusted police force, and a weary populace that has become... inured to daily reports of shootings more than 750 people have been murdered in Chicago in 2016 police said 58 percent increase over the last year the highest total since 1997 there have been more than 3,500 shootings in the city this year over, over the Christmas weekend, at least 60 people were shot, 11 fatally, according to the Chicago Tribune. Two teenage girls were amongst them. Now, this is, um, This is crazy. Uh, so the Reverend uh, Michael Flager, everybody knows who he is, um, activist, pastor at the Catholic Church on the South Side. He's the guy that made an ass of himself at Reverend Wright's church. He said, we should be embarrassed as a city, every single one of us, that we've allowed the city to become a poster boy for violence in America. We're just going to shake our heads and say what a terrible year in Chicago. Flager, who often spars with elected officials, said searching for fresh ways to draw attention to the plague of gun violence. He's planning a rally on Saturday. On Saturday on Chicago's magnificent mile downtown avenue with high end shops and restaurants. I was gonna say the magnificent mile, that's not gang violence. Some victims' relatives are expected to be there. Um, it's crazy. Uh, Chicago has more homicides this year than New York and Los Angeles combined, despite having fewer residents than either city. Los Angeles had 288 in mid-December, up slightly from last year, and New York had 325, a decline from 2015 still Chicago's per capita murder rate remains <coughs> much lower than in several smaller cities such as St. Louis and Baltimore of course it does yeah but the sky the size and scale and magnitude is shocking to have a big city like that where combined it uh New York and Los Angeles combined do not have this problem. Um, I mean, imagine if you lived in a city smaller than New York City and you had 60 people shot. 60 people over the Christmas weekend, at least at least 60 were shot and 11 fatally <clears throat> wounded. Remember that one weekend where it was warm outside? This was last spring where it was just warm. We just had a warm spell. And over the weekend, there were 23 shootings, confirmed shootings, and 11 fatalities. Now, I wonder, I mean, this is a question to anybody around the world. Um, do you guys know about Chicago? Like, that's, that's a strange thing. Like, 
Um, cause I'm guessing the rest of the world gets their information from like movies and TV and stuff, but they always show LA or New York. Um, but Chicago, um, I mean, was a bigger city than Los Angeles for a long time. But, uh, and I know it's got a reputation for like Al Capone and all the mafia and everything, but yeah, it, I mean, it is normalized, um. Just questions. I mean, I, I know I keep beating a dead horse by going over this, but um, higher murder rate than any city in South America, than um, Sao Paulo. People thought, oh, Sao Paulo, that's bad. <clears throat> no, actually, it's comparable to New York, which is half the violence of Chicago. Less than half, I believe. Um all Central American countries combined, and they have things, they they have roaming gangs of MS-13 and 18th Street. So I don't know your thoughts, please. Peace to you.